Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Matthew back with another episode of Wadi's channel. Today is Thursday, the 23rd of June, uh, which means it's been about three weeks almost uh, since the, my last posted video. I actually did come in down here last Saturday to make a little room tour video. Unfortunately, I had to break that up in two pieces, and as you guys know, I'm not that... I'm not that tech savvy, so uh, it was a lot harder trying to, you know, squish the two videos together. Um, I don't know. Eventually, I'll, I'll probably learn how to do stuff like that, but uh, I'm just having fun making these little simple videos uh, such as these. So today's video is actually going to be another uh, shout-out video uh, from one of, one of my favorite sellers, and this is actually one I'm, I'm really super excited about showing everyone. So I got a number of figures in today uh, from one of my favorite sellers on eBay, uh, B Daily. Uh, if you ever get the opportunity, uh, go on to his page. Uh, it's Stanger GQ. I uh, would be his uh, screen name, and he actually has some of the best uh, uh, best LJN figures. I buy a lot of Hasbro from him as well, and um, I'm pretty sure I bought LJN customs from him the previously, but uh, none that come off the top of my head. So uh, right now, I'm making this video based on uh, the lot that I just acquired recently from him. Uh, a couple of these figures, they look like, you know, you've seen on other sellers' pages. So, um, very something like uh, the Series 5 Hulk Hogan. You get this whole Made in America type of deal. Uh, American Made t-shirt. So, this is actually uh, one of my favorites. And, like I said, I've seen this figure on probably half a dozen different sellers' pages. Uh, this shirt is uh, a common custom. Actually, I'm not sure if it's uh, if it's custom or if he actually had that shirt among the LGN originals. I mean, obviously, I know about the red shirt and the other white shirt, Hogan, but the American Made, I'm not too familiar with this one myself. I mean, I've seen it everywhere, so I know a lot of people sell it, but I don't know if that was an original. Um, I guess that's a easy Google search or something, but, um, but yeah, just uh, another Series 5 Hulk Hogan American Made version. I'm going to call it a repaint or custom job based on the original white shirt uh, version. So I did get a couple of these guys. And this one right here, uh, I'm super enthusiastic about it. The only difference I'd probably make is maybe have red shorts just to offset the color of the yellow. But, I mean, this is the Hulk Hogan I know and love. So, <laughs> um, beautiful figure. Very well done. And... I'm super glad to have gotten this one for multiple reasons. One, I don't have this version, so it's great to have that one, of course. Two, I was able to acquire him alongside his partner and manager. And this was, they were able to form the Mega Powers tag team, which to this day still remains my favorite tag team. I mean, I guess Link, uh, Legion of Doom could classify as my favorite tag team because they were a legitimate tag team whereas Macho Man and Hogan just teamed up on occasion uh, out of friendship uh, you know respect for one another mega power I mean this beautiful beautiful robe I mean I absolutely love this even the headband is so gorgeous I mean look at that they really did uh, uh, went out to create this figure and uh, let me remove the belt here Then you get the little Mega Powers on the back, on the trunks here. You know, seeing the Macho Man in real life when he wore the uh, Hulk Hogan colors, it just so, seems so awkward. But, again, I mean, can you think of a better tandem be than Hogan and, and Macho Man teaming up? And the finishing touches, you have the Elizabeth custom figure with the Mega Powers outfit or colors. And this is one of my favorites. I think this is actually the most well done. They add this nice little cute little rose on the end. That is so perfect. That just blends in the overall outfit so perfectly. So I'm probably going to put these three on a uh, display stand. One of those David Garland display stands off Etsy. Uh, four left 3D creations where I get all my LGN stands from. Just some uh, re absolutely remarkable figures. This one, this one could have been better. Um, I think the reason it sold for as low as it did, it's a Hacksaw Jim Duggan figure, and he's got a few abnormalities, you know, on his right arm here, and if this was mint, this figure I think would have sold for over a hundred bucks, but, I mean, it's a Hacksaw figure, and, you know, I'm not going to complain about, you know, having a duplicate figure, um, this one... Obviously, not the black trunks. This is kind of like the reminiscent of the Hasbro where he's all in blue. Now, again, this is the Hacksaw Jim Duggan I'm familiar with. 
you know, the blue Duggan. And I don't know if this is an original. I don't think so. But, I mean, still, very nice accessory to go with yet another figure. And, like I said, if it wasn't for the abnormality on the arm, which, for me, I love customs. Now that my LJN collection is complete, I mean, if I want to keep going and don't want to stop the collecting process, customs are really the only way to go. And, again, I mean, you take away the arm... This is a phenomenal figure. I absolutely love it. You know, the colors are very simple. Just switch the black with the blue. And, you know, something. sometimes it's the simplest changes that make the world of difference. And uh, I really like the low coloring. I don't know they put lacquer on his hair or whatnot, but it makes it really pop to me. That is so well cool. <laughs> so, recently, there's a couple figures. Um... So we've known figures like Brutus Beefcake, uh, Roddy Piper, for example. Those are like two of my least favorite figures. Uh, Roddy Piper is definitely on my list of top ten least favorite LJNs. And Brutus Beefcake could have been on that list, but he wasn't. But uh, still, not, not a favorite of mine at all. Yet, I keep buying uh, these figures. And it's for multiple reasons. I mean, when they look this good... And I think that this comes with an original kilt too, which makes it even more special. Look at the colors of this. I mean, that is just so well crafted, just so well done. Just beautiful. And, you know, the black with the hot rod, I think that just stands out. So you just look so much better than the white shirt. And overall, the Roddy Piper figure isn't a bad figure per se. I mean, like I said a million times, and I'll say it a million times more. I love all the LJN figures, but uh, based on fighting poses or stance or whatnot, you know, obviously I'll have preferences over of some over others. And again, the kilt, such a, a great accessory just to really blend in the overall Scottish look of uh, Roddy Piper here. Uh, let's go with this one. So Brutus Beefcake. This one is a brand new take. I've got several custom Brutus Beefcakes. And I even have a, I believe it's Jeff Hardy, which they used a Brutus Beefcake uh, mold and created Jeff Hardy. This whole leg opening off to the side with the little mesh liner, that is so well done. I mean, that's that's crafty. And they, they drilled a hole into his hand, and that way you could easily fit the shears, and it fits beautifully in there. So, I mean... If I were redoing my competition, I don't know if this would necessarily win, but it's just a beautiful figure, and it's just one I'm, I'm super proud to, to own. Um, there's, a, there's a couple figures that I missed out on that, that I'm just really bummed about. Um, I had an opportunity to get you know, a blue, panted, uh, blue pants, uh, heart foundation with Jimmy Hart, all decked out in black, beautiful. And of course, my stupid computer <laughs> froze up on me, and I wasn't able to uh, uh, put the bit, final bid in. And when I saw what it sold for, man, I was ticked. I was I was gonna offer like double the price on that. <sighs> oh well. Um, one of them that hurt me was uh, I missed out on a gray suited uh, Gene I mean Gene Okerlund. and he sold for about thirty seven dollars, I think. I mean, he wasn't super pricey. But I thought I put it a high enough bid in to win, but you know, again, if I could actually see what price that they were offering, I would have come in much higher. But I did get this Vince McMahon custom figure, and the fact that he still has his finger pointing up, which is great. Um, I'm actually selling a couple of these figures. I keep buying them, and I don't pay attention, I guess, because I really don't ever notice that the, or maybe I do notice that the finger is missing. I just uh, don't care because I kind of feel like you know what, it's a Vince McMahon figure. Uh, he was actually one of the last figures I acquired, and one of the toughest ones to acquire, I think. But we'll do another 360 up close here for Vince McMahon. And I, I really love the, the red suit, uh, red jacket, Vince McMahon, don't get me wrong, but that is just so nifty. I love that. I'm not going to spend too much time on each figure, guys. Uh, I got a number of figures here, and I really don't want this to go past 20 minutes, so... Um, I'm trying to be conscious of your time as well as, well, I don't want to say waste of my time because it's not a waste of my time. I love doing this. 
you know, if you guys want me to make a two-hour video, I probably could. <laughs> so one of the most common figures I own is the Million Dollar Man. And I probably have like four or five different figures now. I uh, believe this would be number five. Yeah. So, so I have two black, I have the green, and I have the whip. So this will be number five, and this will be the second white-suited uh, Million Dollar Man. So I, I would still prefer the white-suited uh, one I got from uh, from the Wrestling Rider with the gold and, and, and white. But at, at the same time, look at the purple. Look at, I mean, this is phenomenal. This would easily move into, I think, second place among my Million Dollar Man figures. A little stripped on the line or striped on the pant legs that is so amazing that is just so beautiful so well done again guys stanger gq on ebay give him a look i mean man sells pretty much everything uh you know i buy it like i said a ton of ljns um wasn't so much the ljn customs not so recently but customs originals and hasbro's I mean that's the the things I gravitate towards on his on his page. So this one right here, the uh, Ultimate Warrior with, I want to say WrestleMania six. Ah, I can't remember, but he he did come to the ring wearing these American flag colors, and this is so well done. This because of the color scheme, I think it might be a Random Treasures repaint. I mean, I could be wrong. It could be from his personal collection. Either he made it himself or, or uh, you know, he acquired it from someone. And, you know, these, these videos, when I make these, it, it's more about the buyer that I purchased or the seller that I purchased the item from, not so much as who did the artwork themselves. But, you know, either way, it just shows a, a really great eye and know what they have and um, his page had an original as well I think it, last I checked it was over two hundred dollars they had a big boss man on there you know Haku original um, they had an original bearded Corporal, uh, Corporal Kirshner which I really wanted I mean I have one I got from Random Treasures but four hundred plus dollars on my guys wow <laughs> I think uh, Random Treasures when they did my Corporal Kirshner with the beard they took a, a real Corporal Kirshner figure and just painted the beard on there. But, you know, they put the stubble and everything on his face. So when you actually rub your hand along his face, you can actually feel the bumps. So, I mean, because I don't classify Ram Treasures as, you know, customizers, I consider them an actual toy company make, making company. I don't know. Uh, would I, could I classify that as a, a, a real or original figure? I mean, I have no intention on selling it, but I was just curious what other people think about that. But, once again, this will make a another phenomenal addition to the Ultimate Warrior family and to my customs. I'm going to actually keep these all together, and that way I know that they came from one seller. That's like, kind of like what I did on this side over here. Keep all the customs together. And here's another King Haku. So, this one looks... Very reminiscent. Uh, let's see. Okay, so not identical. Some differences to the Ram Treasures King Haku that I purchased. Um, so this one comes up with with obviously some um, major accessories. The starter part is the cape robe. Uh, yeah, we'll call it a robe. I think that is more robe than cape, anyways. Check that out. That, that is so cool. Uh, and of course, I guess this is uh, King Harley Race's crown. So, this one actually fits much better than the one I had for my Harley Race, which was uh, made out of resin. So, you, you pop it on his head, but it doesn't really stay. You know, you do one of these and it falls right over. And I'm, I'm thinking that these were original figures uh, that they customized. I don't know if these were... Uh, they could have taken, like, a, gone around treasures, got, like, a, an unpainted one and did the paint job themselves. I mean, that's a possibility. But, again, I didn't ask those questions. Um, either way, they did a fantastic job here. And that is King Haku. So, uh, we know in my the my favorite LGN tournament 
from uh, with Raider Nation. Uh, the favorite figure I acquired from them was the black suited Honky Tonk Man. And the Honky Tonk Man black suit went extremely far in my competition, almost to the end. And I think he came down to like one of the last ten figures, last six figures, something like that. Um, so the last the last video I made, video six, it was for uh, round six and seven. Round six, semifinals, four figures. Video seven, seven, uh, round seven, two figures for the finals. Um, so he, he got eliminated in round five. Um, this one is very reminiscent uh, to that black-suited Honky Tonk Man. Uh, this one is more of a dark blue or navy blue with gold mixture. And when you throw in this accessory, again, this be, turns into one of my favorite uh, custom figures. And I've got so many duplicate figures of uh, the Honky Tonk Man original. You know, those are like one of those figures I keep buying, you know, I don't know, the Heart Foundation, uh, Series 5 Hulk Hogan, um, I don't know, uh, Vince McMahon. You know, those are some of those figures that I keep seeing. If I see a good price on it, I'll swoop it up and now I end up with all these duplicates that I really can't do anything with. Uh, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to start sending them to my buddy Eric and uh, see if he can start making magic out of them. <laughs> you know, they're not going to do me no good and I'm really not going to be able to sell them for the price I want to, so... You know, make use of them, add them to my collection, my personal collection. But once again, just give you another full view of the Honky Tonk Man Custom. Again, with blue and gold jumpsuit. Alright, outstanding. Uh, just under 17 minutes. Uh, I actually thought this was going to go a little bit longer. Uh, luckily, it didn't. Um, I haven't given up on that little walkthrough video. I could just post the second half of it, but that would, you know, just I kind of started the first 30 or 40 seconds. It's just me talking about the video, and then uh, the second video, second part would have been me walking around with the phone, uh, going over the collections, showing, giving a little uh, update about what my plans are for the for updating this room and what have you. But um, I don't know. I probably won't post that now. Um, you know, I'm still probably a couple months away before I get my final installation of the actual built-in shelf I, I really wish I was very uh, creative or you know was um, you know I don't know uh, do good at word work you know something just build my own shelf to, to my dimensions to my specifications but we got a uh, customs closets coming in and they're gonna update both my wife's upstairs bedroom and they're gonna build that shelf for me so that's the last piece uh, once that's installed i can uh, put the last of my figures up for display and uh, clear this room out um i don't know if i could do a little walk through right now just kind of give you a glance yeah i'll wait for another time i don't want me moving the computer around <laughs> all right guys uh thank you again for watching and uh Feel free to leave a comment. Uh, let me know which figures you like or if you have ideas for converting certain figures into certain other wrestlers. I mean, that would be a huge help. I'm kind of acquiring the same figures over and over again, so it would nice be nice to kind of switch it up and get something different. Uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, all. Talk to you soon. Goodbye for now.